So how's it going guys, Shade here, back with another deck profile and today I bring you guys my going second dinos. So if you're like me and you always lose the dice rolls and have to go second like 99% of the time, you like this deck uh, because I just made it so that you, ca you have all the tools you need to go second, but uh, you can also go first if you want to. So uh let's just get into the deck profile real quick so for our dino monsters we play triple oviraptor triple baby two animadorns arcosaurs two tyrannos one pancratops one misc and one giant rex so i'm not playing a uh, petite because uh on my games i never f uh went through all my babies and be uh, unable to combo off, so uh, I didn't really think Petit is a necessary monster for this deck and it only special summons level 4 so it's not better than Baby at all, so I just don't like playing it because of that, uh, it's just uh, my deck building decisions. Uh, I had one copy of it before, but then I decided that I wanted to play Gamma, so I took off to make room for the iframe driver. And yeah, that's basically why I'm not playing um, the Petite. Uh, besides that, it's just another normal Dino core. Obviously, it's sad that Misk is at one because uh, it's a really important card for the deck, but we manage ways to use it more than once. Going for our scrap monsters, we have scrap raptor uh, at three, uh, one scrap chimera and one scrap column. Uh, scrap raptor, I'm playing it at three at not two like I see a lot because it's also a combo starter if you have lost world. So I really want to see it in my hand if I don't have an Ovi uh, or a misc. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's why I'm playing it at 3. Uh, Chimera is just to search off of Raptor to get two scraps on the field, and Golem is a target for um, Scrap Wyvern that just gets you another monster, so it uh, facilitates your uh, going into the Link 4 uh, monsters. And for Hand Traps, we're playing just a Triple Gamma and the One Driver. Uh, why Gamma I think is the best in this deck is because uh, it's just if you use it on your turn to protect for a Fossil Digs or Pot of Prosperity when you're looking for the cards that you need to combo off, it also gives you a level 8 Synchro for Omega, which is what we want to recycle our Misk because of you can, uh, during your opponent's standby phase, return a banished card to the graveyard so that's just why omega is so important in this deck and uh, now that misc is at one and playing the gamma so that you can have it for free is really nice going to spells we have a uh, triple fossil dig because it searches any dino in your head in your deck except for tyranno and pancratops so it can just grab you what you're needing to combo off uh, the double evolution pill, because you can search it off of Arcosaur and it's special summon style Rhino for the deck, which is the boss monster and has an insane uh, Book of Moon effect for all your opponent's field. So you only want to play it at two because it's searchable on your combo. You don't want to see it on your hand most times, but having it at one is kind of awkward because sometimes going uh, into your second turn you need a second copy of it and you don't have it if you just play it at one so playing it with a nice ratio so that you don't see it often in your hand but you search and still have uh, another one in the deck to be searched next turn. Uh, then we have the double lost world one terraforming uh, because lost world by itself with uh, OV or Scrap Raptor can help you combo off really, really easily uh, in case you don't have a monster. Um, 
And yeah, just playing three Lost of World, basically, if a Lost World, if you have terraforming. I feel like, uh, why not play terraforming? You know, in a 40 card deck, uh, just almost the same thing as playing uh, three Lost World. Uh, then we have the triple pot of prosperity, because uh, most times you don't really use all your extra deck. Uh, most cards are just situational, so it's really easy for you to just give up on, uh, for example, a Nightmare Phoenix or a Pentastag to just get more uh, uh, cards to your hand to help you either going uh, through your opponent's board, like, for example, go for Dark Ruler Normors or evenly matched, or to just search combo pieces. So uh, I feel like it's uh, really important to have prosperity in your deck. And whoever thinks it's this break set three uh, is uh, not the break set three, but you should play, shouldn't play their three. Uh, it's just insane, in my opinion. It gives a lot of value. Uh, then we have triple dark ruler no more because we're going second, so this just completely uh, invalidates your opponent's board for free. And the one upstart goblin because this is basically just a 39 deck, a card deck with it uh, and yeah, uh, triple evenly matched to help you go second also uh, so yeah that's basically it, this card is really good if your opponent only has a monster negates, so uh, I really like evenly uh, going to the extra deck, we have uh, for Link Force uh, Appaloosa and access code, Appaloosa for going first, in case you really need to establish some negates, it's a really good card, and access code just helps you OTK in, if needed. Uh, then for generic uh, link tree we have unicorn, because it just helps breaking boards, and it's really easy to make, and just gives more attack to access code talker, because it's a link tree. So, playing uh, Nightmare Unicorn is really good. Uh, especially because you don't use that much cards in your hand for the combo, so you often have uh, this card fodder for this. So, really nice. Nightmare Phoenix, just like Unicorn, just to break your opponent's board in case you need to destroy spell or traps. Uh, really nice. Happy My Screen, uh, sometimes it's uh, a really good. Uh, monster to go into um, if you just have two random monsters that you can't synchro or exist with going to the into this can help uh, for example if you lose your apples uh, um, negations and you have this you can then go into nightmare unicorn so yeah I really like playing IP I play IP in almost any deck that link summons uh, it's really 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 good card then we have the two Scrap uh, Wyverns for our Scrap Raptor and Scrap Chimera combos. Um, you can play one, but if you only play one, uh, you don't have uh, the ability to play f next turn with the Scrap Raptor. So uh, I feel like having two of them is at least nice and you don't really have that much uh, that you want to take off of this. So either way, uh, it's a really good card. Uh, then we have one Pentastag sometimes for OTKing if you just able to Book of Moon their entire entire field you can just make this uh, pointing to uh, Tyranno and since Tyranno can attack everything it just will deal piercing damage to every monster your opponent controls so sometimes for OTK this card is good. Uh, if you don't feel like playing this you can take it out and uh, Make uh, put like Psy, uh, psy frame uh, lambda to help uh, when you open uh, gamma while going first. If you don't use it, so if you don't like Pentastag, uh, trade it off for lambda. But I I liked playing it and it kind of helped in some matches. So yeah. Uh, that's why I play it. Uh, and then the one Link or Revoke, sometimes uh, some of these combos you will not be able to go either into two Exceeds uh, or an Exceed or uh, and a 
asynchro. So some in those cases you can just keep uh, animadorn and go into link rebel after you do your link for so it you have more battle protection um, it's just because of that or you can use it like to um, uh, just have a non dino in your graveyard in case you didn't have um, the access to your scrap combos so that you can go into evolution pill really easily so uh, let's get into our exits we play beast dweller because uh, top decks all need their graveyard at this point oh just being able to play it when you're uh, on those matchups just really good by guska sometimes for when you're brick or you get interrupted so much that you can't go into your full board if you have two level fours you can just make it and be safe for a turn at least if they don't have a kaiju um it's a pretty bad card against link link decks though so uh, be careful with uh if with that uh then you have uh the one lag one dolka just make it uh, make it with your dinos you have one of each because uh the first one uh, can be used on spell or trap cards so if you need a spell or trap negation uh off with the Apalooza uh, monsters, uh, monster negation, you can go into Lagia, or if you need more monster negation, you can go into Dolka because uh, it gives you two negates by itself, which is really good. And for synchros, you're playing one Borlod, uh, just another uh, negate, and the Omega, which is a really, really important card for this deck since Misk is at one. So, yeah. Uh, the side deck, you can play whatever you want. Uh, I chose to go with Dimensional Barrier for uh, Branded and all of those top decks that just fusion summon a lot, just abuse one um, a summoning method uh, uniquely. Uh, so I decided to play the Dimensional Barrier. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone Lightning Storm for the speller, uh, Spell and Trap uh, decks, just Trap heavy decks. Uh, it's really just, if they don't, uh, don't open with Solon, yeah, they just lose instantly to Lightning Storm. Um, and then just have uh, some kind of a bestial engine for uh, graveyard decks. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, side deck can be whatever you want, if you have uh, any um uh, tips that you want you can give them uh, down below in the comments and discuss whatever you want to discuss with me or make some questions about the deck uh, feel free to to comment uh drop a like if you enjoy this deck list and subscribe to support my content and that's it i'll see you guys next time